In this video, I am going to explain muscles which do abduction and adduction. In first part, I am going to explain shoulder abductor. In second part, I'm going to explain shoulder adductor. Okay, I'm going to explain three shoulder abductors. Very strong shoulder abductor is this one. This is deltoid. Deltoid, particularly middle fiber, middle part. And of course, anterior part and posterior part do abduction anterior part and posterior part. Main part is middle part. Anterior part and posterior part do abduction when shoulder is abducted over 60 degrees. Over 60 degrees, okay? When shoulder position is over 60 degrees abduction, anterior fiber and posterior fiber do abduction. But what happens if shoulder position is less than 60 degrees? This is very interesting. I will talk about this later. Anyway, deltoid. Main part is middle fiber. Anterior fiber and posterior fiber work for abduction if shoulder is over 60 degrees abduction okay this is very strong shoulder abductor now i will remove deltoid then you see two other muscles deltoid is removed one more muscle which is the which does shoulder abduction is this one this is supraspinatus Supraspinatus. This is part of rotator cuff. This muscle is not as big as deltoid. That means this muscle cannot exert a lot of power compared to deltoid. However, this muscle is important for initiation of uh, abduction. Let's say initiation. It's important like... Uh, 15 degrees to 20 degrees, maybe 30 degrees abduction. This number depends on anatomy books, but pretty much beginning of abduction. This is important for beginning of abduction. Supraspinatus. And one more muscle. This is it. This is biceps brachii. Biceps brachii biceps is mainly elbow muscles however it originates from scapula what do i mean if this muscle attaches on scapula that means this muscle crosses shoulder joint that means this muscle has something to do with shoulder joint thus biceps can do abduction Additionally, this muscle can do flexion. Very important muscle for shoulder joint. I think this muscle can be classified as shoulder muscle. This is such important muscle for shoulder joint. Plus deltoid, these are shoulder abductors. Not much muscles, huh? Then let me explain shoulder adductors for next part. This is anterior view. Let me explain anterior part of muscles that do adduction. Very strong adductor in front of chest. This is it. This is pectoralis major. Pectoralis major. Very strong shoulder adductor. Okay. Very, very strong. Then, interestingly, Biceps brachii also can do adduction. How come? I just told you that biceps can do abduction. How come this muscle can do completely opposite movement? Well, because it attaches on scapula and depends on 
angle of shoulder joint, it can do abduction and adduction. One example is when you do internal rotation, then biceps can do more for adduction. When shoulder is more on external rotation position, biceps can work more for abduction. You know, depends on position of joint, position of uh, range of motion, muscles can do different movement. Very important. See, biceps can do abduction, adduction, plus flexion. You see how important biceps is. And deep to biceps, there's one muscle. That's coracobrachialis. Coraco brachialis. This muscle also can do shoulder adduction. Okay? Biceps, coracobrachialis. Down. One more thing. Actually, two more thing. Deltoid. Particularly anterior fiber and posterior fiber. Anterior and posterior. Wait a minute. Again, I said deltoid is for abduction. But do you remember? Anterior fiber and posterior fiber works for shoulder abductor if shoulder is 60 degrees above. But what happens when shoulder is less than 60 degrees? Like this. Now anterior fiber and posterior fiber can do adduction. Okay, 60 degrees is kind of a border for anterior fiber and posterior fiber. Above 60 degrees, they can do abduction. Below 60 degrees, they can do adduction. Okay, very important muscle. So this is pretty much it from front view. Pectoris major, biceps brachii, coracobrachialis, deltoid, anterior and posterior fiber. Let's move on to posterior view. Okay, one more strong shoulder adductor, which is this one. This is latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi. This is strong adductor, you know, like a pectoris major. This is back part of body. For front part of body, it's for pectoris major. Two strong shoulder adductors. Okay? There's one muscle whose function is completely identical, like latissimus dorsi. Which one is that? This is it. This is teres major. Teres major. I said latissimus dorsi and teres major have completely same functions. Thus, if latissimus can do adduction, teres major can do adduction. Oh, by the way, this part is posterior fiber of deltoid. Do you remember this fiber can do both abduction and adduction? Border is 60 degrees. Below 60 degrees, this muscle can do adduction. Above 60 degrees, this can do abduction. Very unique, huh? One more muscle, which is this one. This is triceps brachii. Triceps brachii, particularly long head. Why long head? Because this muscle attaches on scapula. That means this muscle crosses shoulder joint. This is on posterior part and this is slightly diagonal. Now, this can do adduction, like biceps brachii. Triceps brachii can do adduction plus extension for shoulder joint. This is also important for elbow movement, but, you know, also important shoulder muscles. You know, understanding movement of muscle is very important, and this is very deep and interesting study. I love this. You know, I just love muscle movement and joint movement. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button. 
comment and subscribe. See you next video.